Hello, in this video I want to talk about a technique that enables you to build columns that are a little bit different from your standard sort of spiral pack or organic or square pack columns. This produces a flat profile, flat from front to back, um, and also gives you the opportunity to build shapes, patterns, chevrons into your design. So it's really very adaptable and depending on the colours you use obviously will suit just about any occasion. Um, in terms of colours, I want to use this balloon, which at the time of filming is nice and new. This is a lovely new parrot from Anagram, and it has some fabulous tropical colours in there, so I'm picking out latex balloons to um, go with this, and the four colours I've chosen are Sempertex uh, Fashion Fuchsia, uh, Fashion Yellow, Fashion Lime Green, and Fashion Aquamarine and together the latex balloons and the foil will produce a really vibrant tropical effect in this occasion. Let's put him to one side because we don't need him till the end. And then we'll talk about how the uh, balloon, the, the column is constructed. Basically, you need two sizes of balloon. Um, you're going to have a larger balloon and a smaller balloon. Some of them, some of the clusters will have two large, two small, and the others will be all small. And the actual size of the balloon doesn't really matter. Um, the key thing is that the bigger balloon is inflated to exactly twice the diameter of the smaller one. So in this case, we've got 12 inch balloons inflated to eight inches and five inch balloons inflated to four. But it could just as easily be um, 10 inches and 5 inches, 6 inches and 3 inches, it doesn't matter as long as this is twice the size of that. And then we build the column in a quite specific order. So I'm going to put it on a pole and we start with a smaller cluster with two colours. That is because if you start with the ones with the bigger balloons in, they won't sit flat on the floor. So we need to lift them off the floor and to do that we start with a smaller cluster. And make sure that your colours are side by side rather than opposite. And then all we need to remember is to alternate the small clusters with the ones with the big balloons all the way up. And each time you add a cluster, the colour moves one step over. So here we have the aquamarine here and the fuchsia there. And I'm going to then add this one in. So the aquamarine will move one step over, the fuchsia will move one step over like that. And we bring in a third colour, which is the yellow. And then the next cluster, the same thing happens. So the fuchsia moves over, the aquamarine disappears off the edge. There is no more of that. And the yellow moves one step over as well. And as long as you keep your eye on the pattern, it shouldn't be an issue. The fourth cluster brings in the fourth colour because the pink moves over to the edge, the yellow moves over to here, and we need another colour here. So this brings in the lime green. Cluster number five is green and yellow, moving over again as before. Number six, the yellow moves over to the edge, green here, we need to bring back the aquamarine from down here. And you can see now we have one complete stripe in the yellow um, and you can see the pattern that is emerging. Next cluster, the green moves over, the aquamarine moves over. So it's very, very logical as long as you keep your mind on it and watching what's going on. And then cluster number six, um, there, and the pink comes back in. And then you just keep repeating. So that is the complete pattern sequence and we just repeat that, that sequence until we've reached the height that we want. So I'll put it down on the floor here and then I have all the clusters lined up over here in the right order so that we don't get into a state. Like so. So 
so to just double check there I nearly put that one on upside down this is the last of the pattern and then we just need another cluster of small an extra one on the top um, for the parrot to sit on because otherwise he's not going to sit very firmly on there so a final cluster on here um, we could just put this on the top and um, tie the, the foil into it but I like to add the cluster to the bottom of the foil like this so twist it around the neck of the foil like that and then wrap it through a few times twisting the balloons every now and again to make sure it's really firmly attached and I find this gives a, a better <coughs> and firmer attachment than using a 260 or something along those lines and then this will sit on here and I'm going to take the neck of one of the balloons pull it down wrap it around a balloon below so that it sits straight and there you have it so it's a really vibrant really exciting pattern which you can customize in lots of different ways to make it um, sit the way you want it to or to give you the pattern that you want but it's really very simple as long as you concentrate.